Both of Maine's U.S. Senators are getting behind a bill that would increase the nation's response to Lyme disease and other tick-borne illnesses. Here's why. Senator Collins' office says cases of those illnesses grew exponentially from about 30,000 in 2003 to 450,000 last year. Closer to home, the number of cases of Lyme disease has doubled in the last eight years. The Federal Tick Act, supported by both Senator Collins and King, would develop a national strategy to prevent and treat Lyme and other tick-borne diseases. And it authorizes the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to grant $20 million to state health departments to raise awareness, improve treatments, and make sure Lyme is detected early and accurately. But if it isn't caught early, and in most cases it's not because it's difficult to diagnose, um, there isn't agreement on what the treatment should be, despite the fact that Lyme disease was first identified 40 years ago. Of course, the best way to fight Lyme disease is not to get it in the first place, and that means making sure you're not bitten by ticks. So if you do regular tick checks for yourself, your children, and your pets, you should be okay, and you can use DEET-based repellents. But even though DEET is considered the gold standard by experts, some people, especially parents, are wary about using synthetic chemicals on their kids. New Center's Vivian Lee has more. Chris Fulbrook and his daughter Lily never go on a hike before doing this. Pull your socks over your jeans. This helps prevent deer ticks from jumping and crawling up underneath her clothes. They always wear long sleeves and pants before heading out onto their favorite hiking trail. When outdoors, Chris and his eight-year-old tried to avoid high grass and leaf piles, places where ticks love to hang out. After they wrap up their hike, Lily shakes out her pants and checks her sleeves. Everywhere that I can actually reach. Chris checks other areas Lily might miss, her waist and the back of her neck. When they get home, it's up the stairs to her room to do a thorough check. The CDC says hot spots include <laughs> under the arms, behind the knees, in and around ears, belly button, behind the knees, and in between toes. Chris also puts the clothes exposed to the woods right into the dryer. I'll throw it in the dryer for like 10 minutes before it goes in the wash, um, and that can kill the ticks. Lily then heads into the shower to wash away any ticks they may have missed. Chris taught her to do a full body check, which includes her private areas. Then another check to make sure ticks or nymphs, which look like moving poppy seeds, are not on Lily's scalp. Right around her hairline. This may seem tedious, but it's an important part of this family's daily routine. Ten years ago, Chris was bitten by a deer tick. That bite caused a condition called Bell's palsy. The muscles on the left side of his face became weak and partially paralyzed, and he still can't feel part of his face. One thing he does not use on his daughter are repellents containing DEET. I'm fine if it, it, would, it would be on her shoes or be on her pants, but I, I would never want to put it on her skin. DEET does, um, is the only thing that is, is proven to repel ticks. Pediatrician Dr. Emily Wesolowski says she gets a lot of questions from parents about using repellents on their kids. Evidence has shown that DEET is safe when used as directed, but she doesn't advise parents to use DEET on their kids. Parents are hesitant to put any kind of chemicals on their children's skin, and I understand that. So the long clothing, the tucking pants into socks, the spraying the clothing with the DEET, and the daily tick checks. Experts say teaching your children early to look for ticks on their bodies is one of the best lines of defense against Lyme and other tick-borne illnesses. As for Chris, living with the long-term effects of Lyme disease is helping keep his daughter on guard. Not I'm going to end up like my dad, but it's possible to have your face frozen for the rest of your life. A little hike. But just taking these key steps can help you stay safe. In Cumberland, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. And medical experts do not recommend any home remedies or sprays made from plant-based compounds because they are not shown to be effective in repelling ticks and mosquitoes. Keith Carson has your forecast for the Memorial Day weekend when we come back.